Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind for more Undertale. We just got Tutorial's house here. We're gonna jump right in and see what's going on. You smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Ew! Snail pie, that sounds gross. Here, I, I have another surprise for you. Oh, do ya? What, what is it? This is it. Okay. A room of your own, I hope you like it. Uh, sure. <laughs> is something burning? Um, make yourself a home. <laughs> uh, make sure you don't mess the pie up. What do we got here? Look at all these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> Aw, but they're cool toys. An empty photo frame, it's really dusty. Okay, a box of kid shoes. In a disparity of so, oh, no. I'm suddenly getting a very Hansel and Gretel feeling from this place. And from Toriel. Ah, uh, man, don't, don't be, don't be a villain. Please, dear lordy. What do we got here? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Sure, why not? You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> nice. Ah, the cactus, truly the most sundra of plants. Probably mispronounced the heck out of that, but whatever. You peek inside, scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Yeah, let's stay away from that. <laughs> it's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> cool beans. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Yeah, Toriel's pretty big. She needs a large bed. Derp derp. Oh hey look, the mirror works. Right on. It's you! Indeed. Oh, it's a water sausage. Oh, one of those water sausages we just talked about. What about this? Room under renovations. Okay. Inside the drawer, flower seeds and some broken crayons. Yeah, careful growing them flowers. We haven't had the best track record with flowers so far. Another water sausage. Can we turn on this lamp? Nope, doesn't look like it. No books. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Let's see what's down in the basement. Oh, that just... The music just kind of got sulking. Oh. I think you should play upstairs instead. Oh no, there's something down here she doesn't want us to know about. Well, that immediately makes me want to continue to f try to find out. It is dangerous to play here. Um... Yeah, sorry Toriel, I, I really want to know what the heck is going on. It is drafty here, you will catch a cold. Yeah, you're making a lot of excuses. You're not helping the whole Hansel Gretel feel here, man. <laughs> I'm just telling you. It is dusty here, you'll catch a cough. Well, she keeps saying different stuff, so... I guess I'm gonna keep trying. There is nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, people. Move along. <laughs> yeah, I disagree. Do you want to read a book? No, I want to see what the heck you're trying to hide from me, Toriel. Oh no, she's mad. She's mad. I do not like the game you were playing. Um, not playing a game. I'm trying to see what in the frick is going on down here. Why not go for a walk in the yard? Because I want to see who you're holding up or whatever it is you're 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 hiding. Seriously. Uh Really now? Really now? Yeah. I, I want to know. I really want to know. Oh man, she is really irritated. Too bad. No, no, she stopped, uh, she stopped reacting differently. That might be the end of that. Yeah, okay. She's just not gonna let us go there. Bummer. Okay, well... Let's see what this is. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2010X. Alright. Man, you've got me worried now, Toriel. <laughs> the ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Cool beans. 
It's a history book. There's a random page. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and feel fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. <laughs> How original. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Okay, well, they, they acknowledged it. Okay, let's uh, check the fire. This is burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Yeah, you know, experience tends to tell me differently. <laughs> Stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. She's a fire mage, huh? Again, not helping the whole Hansel Gretel feel here. <laughs> what a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Yeah? Is really amping up the freaking not in the pit of my stomach. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there's brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Hershey's Crunch Reese's, yeah! Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Uh, sure. Why not? Sweet dreams. Uh, I'm totally gonna wake up and you know, eat pie and then get eaten. I feel. This is not good. Oh, jeez. She left me pie. Look at that. Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie left on the floor. Let's see. Butterscotch pie. Info. All HP. Oh, jeez. All HP? Wow. I have a feeling I might want to save that one. One slice. One, or, yeah, one slice of the pie. Cool beans. And further out here. Yeah, well, I'm not eating it. I ain't letting you fatten me up, Toriel. <laughs> no way in heck. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for, for your education. You're moving a little too fast there, Toriel. Toriel. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Okay. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to, I'm glad to have you living here. <clears throat> oh, did you want something? What is it? Um, when can I go home? <laughs> what? This, this is your home now. Oh, jeez. Um, would you, would you like to hear about this book I'm writing? Not really. <laughs> It's called 72 Uses for Snails. Uh, or you have a snail fetish. How about it? How to exit the ruins? <laughs> um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radicula? Radula? Or whatever. <laughs> Interesting. How to exit the ruins, please. I have to do something. Stay here. Um, no? I have a feeling she went downstairs. I have a feeling she went downstairs. I'm being a problematic kid, so she's gonna have to off me or something. Oh, there she is. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No. No one will be able to. No one will ever be able to leave again. Don't do it. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No way. No way. Oh man, her enthusiasm is gone. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. Red text, huh? That important? Okay. I am only protecting you, do you not understand? Or do you understand? Go to your room. No, not gonna do it. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I don't care. I want out. You want to leave so badly? Huh. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh no. Am I going to fight her? No! Okay, so there's no Hansel Gretel thing going on. That's relief. That's very relieving to hear. <laughs> but... Ah, she's wor she's worried about us. Oh, go, Mom. No way. All right, well, I don't want to fight you, so... Not gonna say nothing, huh? Oh, my gosh. 
That looks incredibly dangerous. Act. Check. Attack. Whoa. Knows what's best for you. No, you don't. But, uh, my gosh, that is a redonkulous attack and defense. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! That is not cool. That is not at all cool. Let's talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Ah! Oh my g- oh gosh! Dang, Joystick not doing the best for me right now. Talk to her again. I tried to think of something to say again, but... Whoa! Whoa! Man, this is definitely a boss fight, that's for sure. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Okay, so... Oh man, I don't know how I dodged that. We can't just spare her, apparently, so... Ah! Well, if video game experience has taught me anything, Whenever there's an NPC that, like, blocks your way to give you the trial or whatever to make you seem like you're strong enough to move on, you basically have to take them down a certain amount of health before they realize that you're not a wimp. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that's what I have to do here. No, nope, yeah, because, see, talking isn't doing nothing. Ah, uh, oh man, so bad. Well, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to weaken her a bunch. Oh my gosh. Bam. Up, up, whoop, whoop. Man, this is difficult. Come on, Toriel, just let us go. I probably heal myself. Ah! No! No! Let's see, what do I even have? I got a monster candy. That'll help. Alright. Oh my. Okay. Nope, nope, no bueno. Nope, no bueno. Jeez. Fight. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to weaken her a substantial amount. Hopefully we can survive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Man, we might have to use another healing item. Ah! Don't do it, Toriel! No, go, Mom! Come on, now! Okay, we have her under half. So... Shouldn't we be able to spare her now? Doesn't look like it. I guess she's not weakened enough. Ah. Okay, I guess I have to hit her a couple more times. Oh my gosh! No! How weak are we gonna have to make her before she just accepts? accepts us as being able to take care of ourselves. Uh, what? What? You had so much HP left. What's Okay, okay, wait a second. Wait a second. I don't don't get don't get riled. <laughs> don't get riled. She's we probably just like knocked her out, right? Ugh. You are stronger than You're stronger than I thought. Yeah, you should have let me through. <laughs> anyway, you know, go go back home, rest up. I mean, I can see a tear in your in your midsection. Uh, kind of no. Come on, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. Come on now. Listen, listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Okay. Hey, hey, Toriel, get get a grip. Get a grip, Toriel. Come on. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. Oh, uh, that's kind of dark. Toriel, come on. I didn't mean to ki You're not dead, are you? Give me a break. You're just injured. You know, Phoenix down yourself, potion, whatever. This plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Oh, no. 
Peek. Oh, I, I did kill her. Oh, no. Oh, no. Toriel, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But you had so much health left. You had so much health left. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Screw that. I'm, I'm going back and I'm going to not kill her. I'll be back in a second, guys. <laughs> okay, so I made it back. Let's try to do this right this time. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> no, we're just like the others. There's only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong, etc. Et Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Wait, what? Like you have seen a ghost. Wait a second. Does the game know? It must. Do you know something I do not? No, that's impossible. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so fighting her until she's down to a certain point does not work. And talking does not work. So maybe I have to just check or try to mercy her over and over. That, you know, in fact, that froggit did say that you would have to spare somebody when their name is White. So, I mean, it's possible, I guess. Oh, I did not notice that last time, actually. There's another line of speechless dialogue or whatever. Three, okay, so yeah, it, I guess you do have to just continuously spare her. Ah, uh, man, I'm taking hits. Monster candy. Dang, joystick is not the best. Mercy. Oh, she's confused. What are you doing? I'm sparing you, what do you think? Attack or run away! Or I could do neither of those things. Dang it! I'm not supposed to pick those up. Come on, brain. Get with the program. What are you proving this way? That I don't want to fight you? Fight me or leave! No. Ah! Ah! This is becoming difficult. Stop it! You stop it, Toriel! Dang it! Freaking stupid joystick, I swear to god. Stop looking at me that way. Um, come on, goat mom. Don't be like that. Go away! Ow! <laughs> Acting aloof. Uh. Well, I mean... I guess we have this bandage. We reapplied the bandage. Recover 10 HP. I mean, I don't want to die again. Or I don't want to die, rather. Oh, she's looking worried. Oh, wait a second. Is she avoiding me now? Oh, the music stopped. I know you want to go home, but... Gosh, why didn't I just try this from the get-go? Spare. But please, go upstairs now. No. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I'm sure I have a life somewhere else, unfortunately, Goat Mom. Sorry. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. I'm sure we could. Why are you making this so difficult? Because I want to go. <laughs> Please, go upstairs. No. Ha <laughs> ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. So, I guess all those pairs of shoes that we saw in the room were, I guess, belonged to different kids that she tried to save and didn't listen to her either. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear... Aw, oh, Toriel. 
for you, my child. I'll put them aside. Oh, man. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. Aw. Oh. I hope you understand. Aw, oh, Toriel. <laughs> she, she can't take it. She can't take the emotion. Goodbye, my child. Oh, I'm sorry, Goat Mom. <laughs> I gotta go, though. Oh, you were really nice. Thanks for the pie. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm actually gonna go ahead and... Well, no, not yet. Not yet. Let's see if we can make it to a save point. Okay, go up. Even further up. Chimauna. Chicka chow cha. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, you again. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> but don't act so cocky. I know what you did. Uh, saved her? You murdered her. The game does know. Ah, that is the meta friggin' this people are telling me about. And then you went back because you regretted it. <laughs> you naive idiot. Do you think you're the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world? Purely by your own determination? The ability to play God? The ability to save? Oh, is that what we're calling it? Okay. I thought I was the only one with that power, but I can't save anymore. Apparently your desires for this world override mine. Well, well, enjoy that power while you can. I'll be watching. Man, Flowey, you are creepy as hell. Creepy as hell. We're moving on. Uh... Undertale. Cool. So I guess that was the opening part of the game by Toby Fox. Thanks, Toby. You are a genius indeed. I don't know how you made a game that can, like, automatically tell certain things. Okay, well, this seems like a good spot to stop. I'm going to go ahead and bring this episode to a close, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all for the very next episode.